Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you a shoutcast and game 3 in this best of 3 series between Mouse Moro and OGS's MC here on Shakuro's Plateau. Game 3, um, yeah, obviously taking place on Shakuro's Plateau. Let me see what version of the map it is. There are destructible rocks leading into the back of the base. This is not the official Blizzard version. This was part of the TSL Dreamhack version and I am interested to see how these players will be playing. Another thing to note, there are only 7 mineral patches at the natural expansion compared to 8. So um, in, on average you will be losing about, I think I think the calculation is 75 minerals per minute um, at the natural expansion as compared to a normal expansion that has 8 mineral patches. Probe now already making its way across the map. We'll quickly scout out the bottom left hand side as Moro, or sorry, wow, they switched the colors up on me. All right, no big deal. OGS MC spawning as the blue Protoss player this time around. Meanwhile, um, Moro spawning as the red Zerg. I can actually probably fix that right now as I do this. So let's see, Moro is the Zerg and he is Crimson. Meanwhile, OGS MC is Protoss and he is Dodger Blue. All right, so there you go. Fixing the colors for you guys because that's how much I care. Now, um, if you guys do know um, how the game works, or not, excuse me, not how the game works, but Visual um, Visual Studio, um, the actual color is Dodger Blue. So um, hopefully I do not get any in trouble for you actually using the term Dodger Blue as that is the official color of a pretty popular sports team in Los Angeles, California. Anyways, Probe now making his way back over here and will be trying to hover around the natural expansion here for quite some time as Moro was feigning that he was trying to build a hatchery there. Uh, an MC obviously doesn't know whether or not his opponent has enough minerals just quite yet to set up that expansion as a forge already is established here. I expect a Nexus in just a few seconds or perhaps a gate or perhaps a photon cannon that photon cannon needs to be coming in rather relatively quickly otherwise those zerglings are going to be funneling down that ramp very very easily a drone now already up the ramp there the photon cannon needs to be warped in now waiting for 150 minerals there you go there's 150 and there's that gateway so it is going to be a gateway first and not quite enough to get enough uh, minerals for that photon cannon just quite yet wants to make sure that he can wall off this and this location here perhaps in a second photon cannon would work out well as he is not getting any gas just quite yet finally warping in that assimilator there he still has a probe over here on the far side of the map so he is keeping track he does know that perhaps some zerglings are coming out yeah four zerglings now coming out so there's that photon cannon finishing off that wall in there trying to protect against any serious damage the photon cannon able to two shot any zerglings so would be able to at least um, kill two of the four zerglings if they try to run by and then with this many probes the probes would be able to easily surround and destroy the remaining zerglings without taking any serious damage so an OGS MC in a very very nice position already finally finishing off this wall in with that cybernetics core zerglings don't stand a chance all the probe has to do is just hide over here for just a moment and down goes a zergling a probe now just continuing to wander across the map here as a drone this drone is going to be stuck here for quite some time it is just wandering around looking for any key tech no key tech has been revealed so far as we are now going into a roach warren that roach warren with a range of four on those roaches will not be able to break through this front door but should be able to have a decent presence across the field as long as creep tumors are placed down moro hasn't really been spreading his creep highway in the past couple of games so i am curious as to whether if he's going to try to change that up is he going to go go for a five roach push it does no three roaches a three roach push and now he is going to go for even more roaches now up to seven already so seven roach push and coming in underway after canceling the hatchery so wow canceling the hatchery in order to get enough um enough damage with those roaches and this is going to become very interesting especially as we already see a stargate coming in does moro see that stargate no he does not as that stargate is on the low ground and he does not see the key tech building on the low ground there and that was huge that stargate is going to allow for a chrono boosted void ray to come out and if the roaches are not careful, as soon as that Chrono Boosted Void Ray comes out, that Void Ray is able to attack and move at the same time, shutting down perhaps multiple roaches. And that is going to be a significant amount of damage to be had. A sentry also joining in on the fight. Photon Cannons have a range of 7, roaches have a range of 4. 
Zergling gonna try to touch that ramp once again, quickly getting shot down there, and now the Roaches are gonna just push in and try to take down that Photon Cannon there. There's one Force Field, so nicely done, preventing any serious damage onto that one Photon Cannon. Not able to get a proper flank there, as damage is being dealt. The one Photon Cannon is down. Second Photon Cannon looks like it will get destroyed in just a moment. There it goes. And now, trying to snipe down that Cybernetic Core. It doesn't look like enough damage can be dealt towards the Cybernetic Core before the warp gate research is going to complete so the warp gate research now completed there and there's a force field so now continuing to battle it out roach is pushing through this ramp a lot of damage to be had there are going to be three photon cannons of void ray however the critical void ray is now out and wow that void ray is going to be racking up a lot of damage very very easily more photon cannons now coming in should be going after the pylon and instead going after those photon cannons one photon cannon now down zerg is now trying to swarm in but with no real way to deal with that void ray the roaches are just going to get torn apart bit by bit. Cybernetics Core now back into play as a second Void Ray coming in. That was a huge blow to Moro. Moro perhaps not expecting that early Void Ray. And now in a bit of trouble. Needs to desperately train Queens. Train some Queens. He also needs to get an Evolution Chamber up for those Spore Crawlers. But I think that's going to be too little too late. As a second Void Ray already on the move. Zergling's now looking to perhaps put some pressure onto the backside here. And, and this may be just a little bit too late. The Zergling's unable to get that much damage onto those destructible rocks. And now just continue to swarm across the map. You can see one Void Ray moving across the map there. Zergling's now exposing themselves to that one Void Ray. Another Void Ray getting more damage in once again. As we now finally see that Evolution Chamber. Moro desperately trying to catch up. One Zergling activating this Zelnaga Watchtower here as there are going to be three Void Rays inside the base. Three Void Rays better than one. And a Queen doesn't stand a chance. Um, yeah, the, the Queens are going to have a very difficult time. It looks like uh, it should be another hatchery somewhere. Where is oh, another Queen somewhere? There is there is that second Queen. So it's going to be two Queens trying to fend off three Void Rays and a Phoenix. And that Phoenix might be the tipping point. Spore Crawler finally coming into play here. And it looks like three Queens going to try to battle it out, trying to fend off the attack. There are some Spore Crawlers. And now, oh, canceling at just the last moment there. And now the Queen taking a lot of damage. That Queen needs to perhaps pull back. No Transfusion coming in. And Moro says GG. So Moro quickly losing to OGS's MC here on Shakura's Plateau after canceling his hatchery and moving in more of an all-in rush with seven to eight roaches. Um, MC being very, very careful and getting those void rays out early on. And that, that void ray dealing about 25 damage a second able to easily shut down those roaches those roaches didn't stick around for very very long and then eventually massing up three void rays with two phoenixes able to graviton beam a queen shut that queen down and without the spore crawlers without the evolution chambers and those void rays just ran their way straight into the base and was able to take the game thanks for watching thanks for listening hope you guys enjoyed this three game or three game series best of three series between mouse moro and ogs's mc game three taking place here on shakura's plateau